Hi everyone, this is Mr. Grania, your librarian. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, how to run an image search online or any kind of media search online so that the results that you get back are results that you can use in your video projects. Um, as many of you know, and as, and as most of you should know, um, as all of you should know, um, it's not okay to just do a Google search, find an image or find a video or find a song, throw it in your project and submit it. Um, even if you give credit like, oh, I found this on Google, or even if you give credit like, oh, this is a song written by this person, um, and I used it uh, on this day. No, um, a lot of times with images and with um, other types of media, um, we're using such a significant portion of it that uh, just citing it doesn't really do the trick. Um, so I'm going to show you a few websites that allow you to use images and that actually help you by only searching images and other forms of media that you can reuse in that way. Okay, so we're gonna start with Creative Commons. Uh, Creative Commons is a search engine that does this work for you, okay? Um, if you notice on the screen, and again, this is search.creativecommons.org. Uh, if you notice on the screen, there's a search bar, and then there are these two options here. There's use for commercial purposes, and then modify or adapt. Note if I, uh, notice I've got those two uh, unchecked, right? And that's because if I were to leave them checked, that would have fewer options um, that return when I run the search. Uh, so because I want to get as many options as possible to make the best selection, I leave them unchecked because not everybody wants you to make money off their work and not everyone wants you to adapt or remix their work. Okay, so I'm going to search for large crowds. Okay, so the results come back like this. I find one that I like and there it is. I click on it and there it is. Um, image looks good. As you scroll down, you'll notice that where it says image attribution, that's what we need. This is the format that uh, the user has requested if you're to use his work online. Um, so I'm going to click copy rich text because that's exactly what I need in the right format and everything. Uh, notice it's the title of the image by the username of the person who uploaded this or took this picture. Notice it's not their real name, but their username because that's how they choose to be known online. And then is licensed under CC by NC 2.0. Now, that's a lot of pieces to remember. So we've created this graphic organizer for you to help kind of sort that out. Uh, the first box of the graphic organizer has an example that's done for you. So you can kind of get the idea of how it should look. Uh, and then you can start using the second one to actually uh, input your findings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just paste that attribution on that line because unlike with this first one or unlike a general image search, um, I don't have to search for those pieces. I don't have to put this together. I don't have to look for the title first and then the author and then the license. No, because it's already done for me. This is why I personally love using um, Creative Commons. I'm gonna just slap a period at the end there. Okay, there we go. So now, um, now the attribution looks good, okay? Uh, if I save the image to my computer, which you should do, I would go ahead and put the name of the image in this box right here. Uh, so that it's easy to find later. That's, you know, for those of you who maybe have a hard time organizing your information. Okay, so that's what that's what the graphic organizer is going to be used for. Um, okay, so there it is. It looks good. Okay, so that's the, that's the current Creative Commons search. Now I'm going to go back to the main Creative Commons page and show you, because many of you are going to need some video files as well. Um, right up here in the upper right-hand corner, it says looking for the old search portal. That's where we want to go as well. So I'm going to go here and get there. Um, or you can just type in oldsearch.creativecommons.org. They're very, uh, very clever. Okay, so say I want to search for a video of voices in a crowd. Okay, let me, uh, let me, let me type that in. Voices. Okay, so I've typed in voices in a crowd. Notice I've left these two boxes unchecked. But instead of clicking enter, I'm gonna actually click on YouTube, so that it takes me to YouTube to find the media sources that I want. Okay, so here are the results. Uh, notice that right at the top there are three that are just um, sound effects, which these are probably gonna be really good for my project. Um, let me go ahead and click this first one. Pause it. Okay, so crowd voices, murmur sound effects. So I've listened to this one, I like it. Uh, it's one that I definitely wanna use. Um, so let me see if it has that ready-made attribution for me. Okay, I see the username. I see the name of the media. What I don't see is a ready-made attribution, but that's okay because look, I've got my license here as well. And again, I've got the information for these other pieces. So I'm gonna just do a right click and copy the address there. 
So it's YouTubeosaurus. Go to my handy graphic organizer. Go to the next slot. Okay, notice I pasted it. I pasted the link to the um, users page on there. Um, let's go to the title of the media. That one's called Crowd Voices Murmur Sounds. Go ahead and put quotes around it. And again, I want to link that. So let me just grab that link real quick. Copy and paste it onto it there. All right, I've got two links. Now all I need is the license. So to get the license link, luckily YouTube has it clickable there. So it pulls it up. Um, I'm reading here. Okay, I see Creative Commons on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna actually probably click on this link here to get to the license. There we go. We've got our license. Okay, now I can go back to my graphic organizer. Call it like it's called on the YouTube page, Creative Commons Attribution License. And I will, once again, do my Command K, Command V to paste that license right onto there. And now I can go onto a line in this lower box and make it so that it's not only linked properly, but that it's all formatted the same way because we don't want to be sloppy now. Okay, and there we have it. I've got it all on the same line. Now I'm going to do my formatting. So let's make sure that it's all looking good. So it's all Arial. If that's what I've got, if that's what I need, font size 11, and let's unbold it. Okay, so let's look at a few other options that are available for us. Um, namely, we're going to look at Pixabay and Morgue File. Um, both of them offer pretty much only images that uh, you can use uh, for free. And for the most part, you don't even have to give them credit. Let's go ahead and do a, an image search here. So I'm just going to click on Halloween. Okay, wow, spooky. Um, I will click on this one here. Say I want to use it. If you notice right here, it says free download. Um, free for commercial use so if you want to make money off of this image in some pamphlet or something you're welcome to and no attribution required if you're really curious about the legalities of it all you can click on the license there but otherwise this this image is free to use um, so you would just download it onto your device and just remember the name of the file um, in fact it might be good to download it think about the name or rename it if you need to and then go down here and in media 4 i would go ahead and type in uh you know, whatever you decided to call it. And then you don't need any kind of attribution. Okay, very easy. I would even link it because, uh, you know, that way you can get back to it if you need to at some point. All right, um, so that's Pixabay. Uh, morgue files, very similar. Uh, let's see what they have here. Search for night sky. Okay, found this cool image of a moon. I'm going to click on that. And this one, we could just download it uh, and it's free to use. Every file on morgue file is free to use and no attribution is required. Um, the name morgue file is not Halloween related. Uh, it's in fact the name given to the extra photos that are taken that were not used by um, photographers and other um, media professionals. Uh, they just call them morgue files and oftentimes they are just available for public use. Okay. So those are those two. Um, and then of course, remember, you'll need to use your um, footage from, or you'll need to use footage from the student cam website, which uh, the link is up here and I'm gonna have it across the screen. There it is. Uh, and if you, uh, so if you're on the student cam website, it's over here where it says C-SPAN downloads. You can actually scroll down, notice the search uh, tips that it gives you here. These are actually really good. Um, you've got your topics. And then you go down and find the images or the, in this case, the videos that you might need. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this, about how to give proper attribution, about how to search for images, or if you have a question about an image or a video that you find online, uh, feel free to see myself or Ms. Wolf and uh, either of us can help you out. There are our email addresses on the screen, although it's easy to find us or it's uh, easy to just type in our names in an email and we should pop up. Um, but uh, again, if you need any help, come find us, come see us, come email us. Until then, happy searching.